What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online. Subscribe for daily uploads. Had to do it. Don't often, but I did it this time. Today we're going over a easy money making location where we have three locations along the lake that all work pretty well. And the nice thing about that is that you can rotate between them so that once one dries up a little bit, you have your second option. And then when that one's good, option three, and then you can just rotate back into in, back between all three of them. So we're going to be out here by strawberry. If you just fast travel over to strawberry, you have this lake. It says, uh, it's, this is either a Wanilla or a Wanjila. I'm not sure, but I think, I think I'm pronouncing one of those, right? But we're just going to go right. Let's see, never eat west of strawberry. And we're going to be over here. And there's three different locations on this river that we can use for getting good fish. Now, when you do this, you are going to be getting at times musky. Unfortunately, the, um, the, uh, musky, you can't end up carrying if you're going to rotate between them because you're going to have to carry around your fox. And I do recommend getting a fox. When we first started these carcass fishing methods it was thought to the deer were really really good but in fact the smaller the like a medium animal the smaller it is as long as it takes up a spot on your carcass is the bet or on your horse that's the best because we want precision over everything right so the whole point here is to just get the tiniest bit of his body in the water and leaving most of it out that way that the fish are attracted to him still but they have to swim up really far to get to them. So I'm going to try and go right here. All right. Now, I might need to move him a little bit, but we're just going to see if this works out, if he's deep enough. Each time you set your carcass, give yourself like two to three minutes um, to see if it's really going to work. Sometimes it takes a second. Uh, and then when you get the hang of it more, it'll be much easier and easier. I like to take a look at the top of the water and see where the fish are moving. And if they're moving towards it, that's generally a good sign. If they're not moving towards it, it's a bad sign. What you can get sometimes is them moving towards it. And if your carcass is too far out of the water, they'll still move towards it, but then they'll start to turn away at a certain point. So you want to avoid that. Okay. I think I don't have enough of them in the water, so I'm going to go pick them up. And it, you got to really play the line here because with these methods, they work really, really well if you get it in the right spot. But if you don't get it in the right spot, it doesn't work so well. Not nearly as well, in fact. I think the tail's in enough, though. I think I got her good this time. Got one. There's a muskie. So, see, we got him in the right spot now. We just have to fiddle with that tail a little bit. And while you're up there, you can just walk around and move the body. Um, but this is this is a nice part of the lake because you're gonna get sockeye salmon over here We just picked up four of these fish already. I'll pull up in the map so we can look specifically once again Awanjila or Wanilla. We're up here on the northwest side And we're gonna move back around the nice thing about these three different spots is they're spread out over the lake itself and That helps because then the locations don't feed off of each other's supply when I move to the next location i won't be getting the same fish that i get here in fact i don't think the next spot on the river even gives me sand, uh sockeye but look at how well this spot works right here you're just getting tons of these fish rolling in like this i got i found the perfect spot actually boom look at that dude they just no regard so i think i'm gonna go in there and clean it up you can see now we're starting to run it dry i see just three different locations where the water is moving above the fish um and there are once those little water white the little white of the fish underneath the water once that goes away oh i lost one right there that means there's no more fish there most of the time so once that goes away you're good to move on to the next spot or if you feel like there's only two or three left just go ahead and go on the next spot let it refresh but we're gonna jump in here and pick up all these salmon we got two three salmon a bunch of pickerel and the musky like i said the downside here is that you're moving the fox around so you don't get to keep that musky all right, now we can see there, there's still stuff here, but I'm gonna move on for sake of the video. So we could we could still use this spot again, and we'd probably get this similar result as that first uh, little session where we had 10 or so fish right there. Now we're gonna move on to the next spot on this lake. And for that, let's open up our map, and I'm just gonna mark it for you. We're gonna head over here to the lower side, and in order to get there the easiest way, you're just gonna hop up on the road here 
and ride down. Okay, so right over here, and what you're gonna wanna do, that we're at the mouth, sort of towards the mouth of the river, right up here, a little bit past it. And you're gonna wanna put this fox on this side of the little, let's pull the gun out right here, little floor area right here, like where the, the water almost ceases right there. Actually, I wanna get, get him a little bit farther forward. This isn't quite forward, forward far enough. Right, like that, there. Okay, and then we watch as the fishes come. Oh, they're just waiting. There's so many of them waiting. I'm just gonna adjust his back a little. Come on, kick the, kick the fox a little bit. All right, whatever. She'll work. First one's down, and when the first one goes down and it goes it looks that good, you know you can expect a few more. Now, in this spot, the one thing that you're gonna have to deal with is that the water's high enough that it carries the fish away. And they're gonna start to like fall through and ride up all along the other shore just means you have to go over and grab them it's no big deal but they just don't stay there and it doesn't look all pretty with like a bunch of fish built up in one spot dang we could have had two muskies here all these spots work super super well which is the nice thing about it is that you're just rotating between steady pools of fish and it makes it super easy to get those full 10 stacks maybe in the future if rockstar gives us some wagons we can use the wagons and store some of these big fish on it it'd be nice to be able to keep these oh almost i almost walked over before we got this one i thought the rotation was done but it'd be nice to keep the muskies here look there's the second muskie i know he couldn't wait come on buddy i knew you wanted some of this down he goes all right that's the second spot. Okay, so we picked up all those fish. We're gonna get our fox back up and go to the third and final spot. I gotta say these rotations work so well because the placements are super easy when you grab the medium carcass, which is really, really helpful. Some places you use this carcass method, you have to get just the most perfect location um, and, and it can make it hard, but these are convenient because you're moving between them quickly, but it's still easy to put down the carcass. And the other location is just gonna be right north, right up over here. And what you're gonna wanna do here, so I'll pull up in the map, we know where we're at. This was the second one I showed you. We're right here right now, and then over here was the first one. You're just gonna jump off here and grab our fox. And you're gonna look to place this guy like diagonally along the rock up here, all right? You're gonna wanna place him diagonally along this rock. We're gonna just look for that little dry area and try and get him right on that. You know, we're gonna wanna go up maybe a little bit more here. I think we're gonna wanna go up just a tiny bit more, a tad farther up. Bring it around. And sometimes when you're replacing these things, it's just so much easier to just walk around and then throw it back down. Might be too far. Might be too far. Now, the, the key for this is that we need to get the fish from the right side over here to swim in towards the fox. There may be some from the left, but I don't even know if we're deep enough for them. Oh, and here the right side's moving closer. Come on. Come on, three for three. Show me about my placement. Show me about my placement. And bingo, there's one, there's two. Boom. You got your third placement. Now, if I, if I, if it was a perfect world, what I want to do is I want to have the fox like lined up like this, just lined up. And I want the tail to just barely touch this water. That's the perfect world for me, but that's how I want to set it up. And then you just let it, let it work. It's magic. This one out of the three, I would say that this one is the hardest one to set up. You can get a good amount of fish here too. Right before I started filming this video and I went down to the west end of the lake. This was where I was getting my fish and we still got some more coming in in a matter of we've done now 10 minutes. If you spend the most if you spend the most time depleting the fish spawn in that each area, each rotation will have filled up when you get to the next one. So if you go in like clockwise like that, it's going to work flawlessly for the for the whole time. The hardest part honestly about this whole thing is just getting your silver fox. But let's go in 
and I'm gonna jump to the butcher and see how much we earned while I was here I did do a bit of a uh, testing out the different areas of this um, Lake before I started filming so we're gonna have some extra fish regardless though We've seen that we can get good hauls from each location. All right, we're here at the butcher Let's see what today's take looks like. So we get down. Well, I got a lot of stuff. I got to sell bluegill Six of those, they're the dollar ones. The sockeye salmon are super nice, and that was the first spot that I showed you guys. If you stay there, you can get even more than that. The sockeye salmon are, I think, the best like small fish that you can put in your satchel. 10 of the perch. You're getting fat stacks here, and then 10 of the bass. And I picked up one musky on my run in. A solid run, The my favorite part is that we can just keep rotating. Generally when we do these carcass methods, you can get like two Sets of like six to ten fish each time and then you go pick them up and then you let it run again I would call that two sets each time if you use this rotation that way you are gonna get Six total sets of these fish and then you can just restart back in the beginning So thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed it Make sure to subscribe leave a like on it uh, appreciate you, and I hope to see you in a future video. Until then, take care.